Hi everybody, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be setting up my November bullet journal spreads and um, I'm going to be keeping it very minimal this time. I'm taking some inspiration from Shada Campbell and we are going to be drawing uh, chrysanthemums for November. That is November's flower and even though to me flowers do not, um, they don't really go with like November and December because it's so cold. I usually never draw florals for winter months. Um, I just kind of felt like doing something different. I will be changing up my spreads quite a bit. Everything is going to be a lot more simple. You'll see um, I wasn't going to do washi tape or color, but I decided to go ahead and use my Tombow Dual Brush Pen 291. I'll link that down below in case you want to purchase the same color. I also have some Simply Gilded Washi that I might use in the spreads. So they're all matching. These are the, I think they're the 10 and the 15, if I'm not mistaken. So these are iridescent with white bows, and then these are matte teal or aqua, I guess you could call it, with black bows. And then for my divider, my um, separator here for November, I'm using my Erin Condren Neutral Monthly Adhesive Tabs. I will try to link all of these products for you in the description box below. I also will be using my Secura Pigma Microns. So the ones that I have picked out are the 0.2 or the 02, which is technically 0 0.30 millimeter, the 05, which is a 0.45 millimeter line, and then the Graphic Marker 1, which is a 1.0 millimeter line. So uh, you'll see how I use all of these in tandem and let's get into it.
the same, I swear Don't want what it means I can't bear Tears are falling from the sky But I'm not worried I know I will end up dry Now you'll notice how I went in first and I drew everything out that I wanted to draw and then I went back and added the details. Uh, I don't really do that. I usually like do each page completely before I'm done, but um, this time, you know what, I changed it up. So this is also definitely a change for me. I was considering doing a cutout version of the side. Um, I thought that would be really cool because I love having that, but then I figured I'd already drawn out my content schedule and even though I said I wasn't going to have any scheduling in here I do like to see my monthly schedule at a glance this way as well as in the calendar view like in my Franklin but I also like to see my content at a view like this so I do have this as reference only I did change uh, weight tracker is the same but I did change this a little bit so it's a little bit different I just drew boxes to keep everything more organized so every time I drink water instead of adding my little circles I've added every single month I just I'll put an x or maybe um, I'll keep my Tombow in my bag my pencil bag and then I'll just um, put a little circle for how many bottles of water I drink that day okay um, I do like the added washi. I like the color that I picked. This wa uh, color of Tombow goes perfectly with these washi tapes. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, um, next we have my habit tracker and my mood tracker. So they've stayed the same. The only thing I've changed here is I decided to add color along the bars because sometimes what happens is I get distracted from like where the X's should be as I cross them off. So I want to make sure that like, I know, okay, if I'm on water, that line is colored. You know what I mean? Like that I've skipped every second line. So it just helps to keep me organized a bit. So I did decided to do that. And it'll be an interesting contrast because down here I do a line graph going up. So it'll definitely be an interesting contrast. Okay, then I have my drawing challenge. So I haven't decided what I'm going to draw yet. I may, might pick something from Cindy Quintart Baldo's um, collection of drawing things, <laughs> or I might do flowers again because I just, there's something about flowers I just love. And all I do is I find a picture on the internet and I just draw it. Um, I usually just look at an actual real life flower and I draw it from scratch. Okay. And then same thing here. I haven't decided whether I want to put lines and then label them so that I can have, like this would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might do that because I think that keeps it neater than just having the whole page and drawing whatever. So I might do that instead. Um, I'll do my draw, my 
Well, I might pre-letter it or number it. I'm not sure yet. Um, normally I do that in the video itself, but I never did. And that's it. So you can see that I've, I've taken out the weekly task list because I don't need it, honestly. I actually think I missed a page here. Um, I honestly don't need it because I do everything in my Franklin planner. That's my main planner. It's where I plan out my weeks, my months, my years, whatever. Um, and my days especially because it's my daily planner as well. And this is more for keeping track of everything and just having it for side notes. Um, even here you can see for October, I ended up having washi swatch samples here. So um, I used to be very rigid in my bullet journal. Like I didn't want this type of thing in it, but I have recently changed. And um, I think that's the key to making yourself happy, especially with your planner system, because I know people just um, change um, the way they do things or they just stop doing it and they're like, oh, it just made me unhappy. I'm not happy with it any longer. But I think you just need to change and adapt to what you currently need. And then I think it helps, right? So you don't have to do away with it completely. Just downsize it or increase what you need. Um, so the one I missed here was my dream log and baby shower plans. So my baby shower is November 6th. So I'm going to start filling this out now because there are some people I have to invite. So it's going to be like a brainstorm, uh, maybe a list of like the decorations and things I need. Um, it probably won't be long, but just so I have a page to write down whatever I need to. Um, I don't like writing it in my planner because sometimes I lose track of where it is. Even despite the index, I like having it in here. And then if I have a little picture of it after, I can put a little picture here. Okay, and then dream log. I don't remember my dreams very well recently. Um, for October, it's I had like a two-page spread and I rarely ever used it. So I went down to one page and hopefully that'll be okay. Guaranteed. Um, <laughs> this time I'll be like, oh yeah, I ran out of room. So if that's the case, I'll just like flip to the back and uh, make myself a new spread, just like, you know, the bullet journal system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll do a quick flip through here before I let you go. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and click on the bell button to be notified of when I post new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye friends.